Hey guys, I wanted to throw together a quick video on how to uh, synchronize carbs. I'm going to be doing this on my CB550, but it is very similar on CB750s and other uh, you know, older Hondas with four carbs on it. Um, so what you'll need is you know, a couple hand tools, a uh, Phillips screwdriver, and uh, one of these carb synchronization tools. Um, this one, I'll, I'll throw the link uh, in the description. This one's from Amazon. It was like 65 bucks. Uh, it was worth buying for me because I build you know, quite a few bikes, so I use it quite a bit. You can actually build one yourself out of um, you know, a couple of feet of clear hose and some uh, tubes. There's a bunch of uh, tutorials online on how to build your own. If you're only going to do this like once or twice, you can do that. Or if you want to just spend the 65 bucks and have one, and if any of your buddies need to use it, um, you know, it's not bad to, to go ahead and invest in it. So I have it hooked up already. On the CB550, the uh, little ports are on each little, I guess I would call it an intake manifold. It's the actual piece that goes from the boot to, of the carb to the actual head itself. There's these little Phillips screws. So um, the uh, kit comes with these brass tubes. There's two long ones and two short ones. Two long ones go to the two inside carburetors. Two short ones go to the two outside ones. Uh, then we are going to fire up the bike and see where we're at. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. The bike's obviously running now. You can see all of mine are really close already. Um, I could probably raise number one up a little bit. Actually, technically going to be less vacuum, but what the actual gauges read isn't nearly as important as them all being... Uh, the same reading so you can see this one's just a little bit lower than the rest of these this one's maybe a little bit low too so I can probably adjust the two outside ones to match uh, number two and number three so we're fired up we got all of our vacuum lines hooked up and this is the kind of reading we're looking at so since mine aren't that far off let me turn this off real quick since mine aren't that far off um, I'm not going to need to set up a secondary fuel source. If yours were way off, uh, you'd want to either set the tank up on something near the bike, run longer fuel hoses so that you can just run the bike as long as you want, you know, off the gas in the tank. For me, since I'm only adjusting two of them and they're very close anyway, what I'm going to do is just pull the tank off completely and get it out of the way. Uh, and the fuel in the bowls of the carburetor are going to let the bike run for long enough for me to make the adjustments. So I'm just going to pull the tank off real quick, and I'll just uh, you know block off the fuel hoses so they don't you know leak out anywhere with uh, what's fuel still in there. Uh, then we'll fire it back up, and I'll show you actually how to go about adjusting uh, each carburetor. Okay, I've got the uh, tank off. One thing I didn't mention earlier. Um, you're going to want to do this as your last step of kind of final tuning the bike. Uh, and what I mean by that is make sure that your ignition timing, your valve timing, um, all that set properly, your um, cam chain tension, you know, carbs are cleaned, all that stuff. Do that first um, because a lot of that stuff, uh, especially ignition timing, can actually throw off your vacuum readings. So make sure this is the last step you do. Uh, as a kind of a, a final tune. So I'll kind of uh, show you um, what we're doing here. So these little screws right here, it's a little eight millimeter nut with a flat head on the inside of it. So this is number one for number two. Exact same thing over here for number three and number four. So you're just gonna wanna put a little uh, eight millimeter on there and loosen the lock nut. I only loosened number one and number four because those are the only two I need to adjust. So if you can see, my little lock nuts are nice and loose on those. I uh, grabbed a nice long flathead screwdriver that's uh, small enough to fit in here to, uh, to actually be able to adjust them. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up now. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me uh, while the bike is running and I'll show you uh, what it looks like when you're actually adjusting it. See, 
you can see this one's just a smidge low. Same with, uh, with number four. So we'll put our little flathead screwdriver in here. And we'll turn it just a little bit. After you adjust it, you're gonna wanna flip the throttle a little bit. You can see all of those are pretty equal. So now let's do number four. So you can see with just the gas I had in the uh, fuel bowls, it was enough to adjust two carburetors. So what you're really looking for is just to get them, you know, as even as possible. They don't have to match exactly, you know, perfect, but get them as close as you can. It may take a little bit of tweaking, go and ride the bike, come back, make sure everything's still good. But the main thing you want to do is obviously make sure all your lines are hooked up. Nothing's loose because that can throw your readings off and then just have a match all the way across. So you don't even necessarily have to pay attention to what any of the numbers say, just that they're all pulling the same amount of vacuum. Uh, that means they are synchronized. So that's all I had to do was adjust very small amount. I mean, I did less than, I would say probably close to an eighth of a turn uh, to get that adjustment because they were pretty close already. So what I'm gonna do now is just throw my flathead back on there and then use my little eight millimeter wrench to uh, tighten them down. The reason you put the flathead back in there is to make sure it doesn't twist when you tighten it up. So that's it. That's how to uh, synchronize carburetors on a CB550. So not very complicated at all. All you need is a, uh, you know, about a $65 tool and, you know, maybe 15 minutes of, uh, of your time. So thanks for, uh, for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Um, and let me know if you guys need any help. I, uh, I'll help wherever I can. Thanks, guys.